Sprouts have been scientifically linked to foodborne disease outbreaks resulting in thousands of illnesses and several deaths in the United States and abroad. Therefore, sprouters should ensure that every possible step has been taken to minimize the chances of producing a contaminated product. The sprouter should take responsibility for providing a safe product for consumers and for knowing, understanding, and complying fully with food safety laws and regulations in their location. In this video, we've provided the basic food safety concepts that all sprouters should understand in the daily operation of their facility. To recap, we have reviewed Good manufacturing practices, GMPs, in manufacturing, packaging, or holding human food that cover all aspects of food processing. Sprouters should review GMPs as found in Title 21 of the CFR Part 110 and consider implementing appropriate practices to ensure that sprouts are not produced in violation of the Federal Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act. We also reviewed recommendations in FDA sprout guidance documents including good agricultural practices, seed disinfection, and microbial testing. Seeds for sprout production should be grown under good agricultural practices in order to minimize the likelihood of pathogens being present. Seeds that may be used for sprouting should be conditioned, stored, and transported in a manner that minimizes the likelihood that the seeds will be contaminated with pathogens. One of the most important steps in a grower's food safety program is the routine use of seed disinfection in order to reduce the level of contamination in or on seeds and in turn reduce the risk of foodborne illness from consumption of sprouted seed. However, current treatments cannot guarantee total elimination of pathogens. Therefore, FDA is currently recommending microbial testing of spent irrigation water. Sprouters should employ good sanitation practices to maintain control throughout all stages of sprout production. Facilities and equipment should be maintained in a condition that will protect against contamination. Poor health and hygienic practices by food workers can also increase the risk of food becoming contaminated with pathogens. As we have demonstrated during this program, there are numerous risk factors associated with a sprout production process. And there's no single fail-safe to prevent the threat of illness. There are, however, techniques and practices, as outlined in this program, which, when implemented facility-wide, will help ensure the safest possible conditions under which we can deliver sprouts from the seed to the dinner table. On behalf of the United States Food and Drug Administration and the California Department of Health Services, I hope you found this program to be informative and meaningful. In the back of the manual accompanying this video, there is a section that includes names, addresses, and phone numbers for state and federal food safety agencies in your area. You'll also find additional references for food safety resources. Please feel free to refer to them and to refer to this program often as a reminder of how to produce safer sprouts.